videos I'm like welcome to the land of thousand hills in a city in Africa yeah I have to so much energy hello everyone welcome and welcome back to another video i really hope you guys are all doing well so if you are new here to my channel please you are welcome if you are not yet subscribed please what are you waiting for please click on subscribe button and remember to turn on bell notification in the case i upload new video you get notified so this video is so special guys guess who am i we what am I is in the house? How are you all doing? Welcome <laughs> to the cleanest city in Africa, Mora Kezeneza, Rwanda. Yeah, I speak your language, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Oh, nice I've to been see seeing your job, you know, putting Rwanda on the map. That's oh, amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. You also have a we yeah. have learned a lot from you. Thank what are you. you doing in Africa? Thank yeah, you. so. Mr. Oh, Mr. Ghana baby. Mr. Ghana baby boy. That's a new name. Yeah. <laughs> He's here in the land of Thousand Hills, yeah? Yeah, in Rwanda. I remember those of my, my early videos. I'm like, welcome to the land of Thousand, Thousand Hills. Hills. The yeah. cleanest city in Africa. Africa. Yeah. I, I, I have to so see. much energy those days. Yeah. Now, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm like, welcome to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Oh, <laughs> it's your, it's your Mr. Baby Boy, yeah. Baby Ghana Boy. It's your boy. favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here. Oh. And I'm back again with another video. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's nice to, anyway, it's nice to meet you. Same here. Oh my God, I was like, I, for the first time I followed him because I saw him via YouTube. You know, mm -hmm. all you are popular in YouTube. So oh, yeah. I said, let me follow you. Maybe you will reply my message. Then I send hi. I was like, so maybe yes, because you have a lot of work. Maybe no. yeah, but I like, I like following people who are doing well in Africa in terms of like, I mean, promoting Africa. That's yeah, one of the reason why. Because when I came here the first time, yeah, I don't think you existed, right? Making videos about Rwanda or something. Yeah. yeah so recently, when I wanted to come, I was checking. Okay, are people making videos about Rwanda? That's when I saw your video, and I'm like, you know what? Hey, hi. It would be nice to link up in Rwanda, you know, oh. and here we are today. Thank you so much. Welcome. Guys, You're when welcome. you come to Rwanda, you have to pass via yeah, me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be so cool, yeah? Yeah, anyway, mm. glad to meet you and... If you're happy, I don't know. I don't really <laughs> want to show. The light is bad. <laughs> Guys, it's crazy <laughs> where we are. We were upstairs, <laughs> then the music was yeah. problem. Then we, when we came downstairs, the light is, the the light is, the light is sensor, so you need to just... Yeah, we need to stand here. <laughs> yeah. there is, but there is a man behind the camera who is moving around. For you the know, light? That, yes. Let people see him, yeah? He's him here. Ah. He doesn't want to see. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, so today's video we are going to have like little conversation. Oh, nice. I, I, be nice. I'm going to ask him uh, some questions. Yeah. So it's time now for the questions. Are you yeah. asking now? I have to sit or stand like that? Yeah, you can stand like that. Then now we. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, please keep watching until the end. I might ask your question so keep watching <laughs> so now it's time for questions yeah. so the first question is it seems like you like rwanda so much and it is your third time here in rwanda so why do you keep coming back that's a tough question <laughs> rwanda i mean anybody who watched my videos knows that rwanda is my favorite country in yeah. africa um rwanda actually changed my life um i don't know if um you followed me for long i used to be based in china when i moved to yeah. africa uh, my first ever viral video was um actually in rwanda when i was sitting in the gutter and um yeah people think this boy is going mad this 
is the craziest thing I've ever done in my entire life. But I'm not scared because I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. This is Kigali. Look at me sitting inside a gutter eating without thinking of getting sick, bro. The video went viral, yeah? So after the video went viral, I mean, my channel started growing crazily to the extent that I wanted to go back to China again. But when that video blew up, I'm like, you know what? We staying in Africa. So me traveling within Africa, know that it's because Rwanda changed, I mean, that mindset of me going back to China. And I decided that, you know what? People want to see the beauty of Africa, so I have to see, I have to stay in Africa. And um, secondly, I mean, I love peace, you know, and I go to places where it's peaceful. That's why I love coming in here. It's pretty safe in Rwanda, like, it's almost eight o'clock right but we are out yeah. here filming a youtube video these are the things that you can't do in so many countries in the world so i mean for me just love coming in here man you see my guy here whenever anytime i come he feeds me you know so oh. i mean food i love food over women and you know that so <laughs> anytime i come there are good food to eat in here and it keeps giving me coming back again i'm not here for a long time but I know that I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, that's your home. So now, Thank you. fourth time we have to give you. A land of a thousand hills, man. No. All I need is a passport. Yeah, <laughs> at the fourth time you have been run an ID. ID, oh, yeah. okay, Will they give me that. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so the next question is, what should other African country learn from Rwanda? I think there are so many things other African countries can learn from Rwanda. Um, first of all, we all know that Rwanda is the cleanest um, country in the, on the entire continent. And I believe that if other countries can replicate that in their various countries, I mean, it's going to be a big win for the entire continent. Yeah. Um, when you talk of safe, safetyness, when you are in Rwanda, you see that it's so organized. And when a country is organized, which means that it's pretty safe, right? So when it comes to safetyness, Rwanda is um, number one. To the extent that today I was actually using my phone in the car, my windows were down and I was not even scared that somebody's going to snatch my phone. I've done, I think, an experiment when I came here the first time. I left my phones and everything in the back and I dropped it in the street and no one picked it up. And I believe that if um, a lot of African cities can learn from what Rwanda has been able to achieve, once again, it's going to be a big win for the entire continent. And the next question is, where do you see Rwanda in next five years? Oh, that's a tough question, you know. I don't run the economy in Rwanda, and it's going to be so hard for me to tell you where I see Rwanda in the next um, five years. But I believe that Rwanda is thriving. I believe that Rwanda is growing. So in the next five years, we hope to see more manufacturing industries. Yeah. in Rwanda. So, you know, um, His Excellency Paul Kagame is an advocate of uh, Made in Rwanda service, yeah. goods and service. So, we're hoping that we're going to have more manufacturing companies in Rwanda in the next five years and see Rwanda feeding the entire continent. Have you? Rwanda? Of course. Oh. I bought the marathon the last time I came here. Oh, you should also buy another version. <laughs> another version. They have to give me a discount for using marathons man thank you <laughs> oh the last so would you advise other person to visit rwanda or invest in rwanda of course like rwanda is doing well there in terms of tourism rwanda is the best place to be um you can come see the gorillas even if you don't want to see gorillas come see the clean cities and come and um, feel how safe it is here in rwanda the land of thousand hills there are so many um things to see the beauty it's yeah. something that worth visiting so um what are you waiting for book that ticket today and don't forget that don't forget that run air is also there so fly around there and come to rwanda and definitely you're gonna enjoy your stay in here investment Come on, it's good to invest in Africa. Agriculture, real estate, tech. But Rwanda is the best. And let me tell you something. Rwanda is one of the countries that you can actually register your business in hours. Yeah. With Six this. hours you can register your business. So what are you waiting for? Yeah. Come and um, see you. Thank you so much. Guys, let's thank Wodemaya for this good...
and we should be back and, in one. Um, yeah, def I'm definitely gonna be back. I'm here just for three days, but I just want to tell you that keep up the good work, keep on putting um, Rwanda on the map. The world is watching, and if you're new here, please do me a favor, subscribe and be part of this awesome family. If you ever want to see more about Rwanda, I believe that this is the best channel for you to subscribe. It's Thank your favorite you. village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Aya Maya. Bye. Guys, I met my what? <laughs> when I was filming, Mr. Ghana Boy, I met my follower on Instagram. Yeah. He's a chef from Onomo, you where we see are. You see me on KC2 TV every day? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm so a he's fan. here. I'm a big fan. I mean, I always see you on Instagram and I follow your channels. I mean, traveling. You, 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 your channel is uh, travel. Travel with, with Lynn to Luanda. Yeah. Oh. I've seen it, I've seen it, I've followed it on you know, every time you're in Kivu or something like that. Oh my that god. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So thank you see, so it's, much. It's good to see you, huh? Yeah. And it's good to see us young black people just doing something good for, you know, for ourselves, yeah. Yeah. So actually, he's from Zimbabwe yeah. and he's a chef from Onomo, yeah. <laughs> And you can watch us every day on KC2 TV, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the morning. My God. I should bon definitely <laughs> do this. Anyway, guys, Aladibi, it's your work now. Thank you so much. All right. All <laughs> right. from Zimbabwe. No, I'm around tomorrow, so you guys are Oh, thank you. <laughs>